Lesnar. So, Cass, I'm going to swing it to you first. What were your thoughts on the Rams beating the 49ers 27 to 24? I don't understand what's going on with these first few weeks, bro. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. When it comes to my pick 'em, it's the worst I've started in four years of making YouTube content. Um, I think that we're gonna see more of it this week. Um, when you guys see my me drop my video tomorrow on my on my picks for week four, there's one in there, there's there's one in there that everybody's gonna be like are you an idiot and i'm like no no i'm not because i've already seen like five or six games where i'm like how um brock purdy played perfect um he played perfect uh he had all the yards um he did what he needed to do um it doesn't matter if you guys were out with or without debo you still had Jawan jennings who clearly is the guy to go to when there is no, nobody else um he had a million and one yards well, how many touchdowns did he have three three touchdowns um, and then Jordan Mason didn't have a bad game. He still had like I think like 77 yards, if I can remember off the top of my head, um, which isn't bad for a backup, what third string quarterback technically. He's he was technically your third guy coming to this season. Yes. But regardless, he's he's no CMC. Um, 77 yards with Brock Purdy putting up a million yards and having three touchdowns, um, and also having like 41 on the ground. Brock Purdy did, and then your defense, like uh, your defense isn't bad. Like there's no. I would not look at the Niners' defense, even if they had some holes, even if they had some holes, which I'm not, I don't think they did do right now. And I would go, oh, yeah, they're going to have a problem against the 49ers or against the, the Rams who are missing everybody. And this was one of those games, like I just said, this coming week, I picked a crazy upset, and I'm going to stick by it because I just – not by logic because I got I got I got I got a politic here. But, like, there's no way in hell the Rams should have won that game, being at home or, or anything. Um you had Stafford and Kyron Williams and then a questionable defense. They had guys missing everywhere. They had who what Tutu Atwell? That that was the number one for that game. Yep. And the 49ers are a top team in the NFC. They, they're still a top team. Um, and your quarterback played phenomenal, and you guys still lost. It shouldn't have been that close at all. Um, the Rams played a great game given the adversity that they, that they had to deal with. But the Niners came out probably just a little too lax. Um you need to get everybody more involved. And Brandon Ayuk, this was your time to shine, man. And they're going to get another opportunity next week. And I think that you guys do get your get back. I really do. Um, Brandon, I think you guys have a pretty easy game. You guys got – who do you guys got? Patriots. Uh, you got the Patriots next week. So help me God. So man, help I would hope God. so. So help me God, bro. And I'm pretty sure it's in it's in San Fran, I'm pretty sure. Yep. So handle your business. Get your get back. Brandon Ayuk, uh, have a great game. But – this past week, man, it's just one of those one of those games where it's like, who called it? I mean, you know, I'm pretty sure there's analytics out there that showed the amount of sports bettors that did not take even the Rams to cover the spread. And it is what it is, man. So just another weird game in another week of weird week of football. And it happened to be the San Francisco 49ers falling to the to the LA Rams. So we got a YouTube comment. It's a long season, a lot of injuries. Yeah, you can tell he's a Niner fan. Lots of injuries is correct. 104895310 dollars are going into these injured players. Jeez. We talked about the Niners going to San Francisco and losing. I'm going to keep it short, sweet, and, and lob Toddy for this. So, Toddy, the Niners were 50-0, and 0, went up 14 points in the second half under Kyle Shanahan. Great play caller, whatever you want to call him. The Rams had 101 straight losses down 14 in the second half. And yet the Rams come back to beat the San Francisco 49ers. What were your reactions? Um, I mean, going into the game, I was kind of shocked on the spread of still being kind of high. It was at like six and a half. It was at seven and a half. Debo News dropped to like six. Um, Kittle News. Um, it dropped to like five and a half. I think that's what it ended up closing at. Um, I was never really worried about the game going into it. I was just like, this is another day. We're going to have the majority of the fans there. That's usually how the game goes. Where I think Shanahan's like, like in his last like eight games against Shan or McVay, he's like six and two. So it was like, this is a routine game for us. So every time we go there, it's pretty easy. Um, they're missing a bunch of guys. We're missing a bunch of guys. I feel like our team is still better. Um, 
popped out to a 14 nothing lead. Purdy looked good. Jordan Mason was running all over the place. Jawan Jennings was having – he was playing with his hair on fire. It was like, okay, this is kind of what we need. Game started getting a little closer. They ran the fake punt. That kind of like I feel like changed the tide of the game because we stop them or we get a stop like on that drive, we probably end up getting the ball go up 21-0 and kind of put the nail in the coffin for the game. Um, I feel like the fake punt changes everything. Purdy had, I believe it was eight incompletions. Six of those were drops. Three of those drops came from one guy, Ronnie Bell. Um, our defense was getting torched by no-name receivers. I mean, Tutu Atwill, Jordan, Wilmington, or whatever. Um, these guys were killing us. And Stafford played a hell of a game. Um, at the end of the game, we had a chance at the end to go up two scores with, I believe, it was three minutes left. Um Moody lines up for a 55-yard field goal, and every time he goes up for a kick, most Niner fans have to close their eyes because it's very 50-50 with him. It shouldn't be that with kickers, um, especially when you draft him in the third round, but that's neither here nor there. Moody shanks the field goal. Um, Rams obviously get the ball back and drive down and score. Um, now we're in a game, or actually, I think it was um, we were down, or we were up seven. We are up seven at that point, and then we missed a field goal. They go down and score. The game is tied. Purdy gets the ball back. As he's driving down the field, it was pretty routine. I'm like, okay, we're going to go down. We got Purdy. Oh, we're going to go down. We're going to score. We're going to win. Um, obviously, the, he had the long ball to Ronnie Bell that he dropped, which would have put us in field goal range, um, and we would have been able to run the clock out and be able to kick a field goal. Um, with time expiring. Um, that doesn't happen. It's We're too far away from a field goal try, and there's too much time on the clock. We punt the ball. They return it like 40 yards. That's amazing. They get all the way down, kick a field goal, and win the game. We just lost to the Rams. We're one and two now. Debo's doing a podcast. Brandon Ayuk is getting paid a shit ton of money, and he's nowhere to be found. He had 44, I think he had five or seven, 44 yards. I couldn't even tell you, I couldn't even point out Brandon Ayuk's catches. Like, I saw him catch a pass late in the game, and I'm like, was that BA's first catch of the game? Like, he's invisible. So it's like, I need you to step up. Because I'm looking at guys like Justin Jefferson dancing in the end zone regularly. There's guys like, Jamar Chase, who just had two touchdowns yesterday, now it was before Sunday. But he's out there, and he's a guy that was asking for money. I mean, I saw Amari, or Amari Cooper, a guy who we were going to trade for. He got and found the end zone yesterday. So it's like we need to figure out what it is with you. This is kind of what happens when you miss camp. You fuck around with camp, you're slow, and you're sluggish. And you're, not, you're nowhere to be found. You're dropping balls, like – Trent or not Trent, Trent Williams, I need you to be better. I get it. You're one of the greatest offensive tackles of all time. You're going to be in the Hall of Fame. I need him to be better. It's like the only guy I kind of really – Jawan Jennings gets obvious, would have obviously gotten the game ball because, as Kevin likes to say, he's the third down receiver, and he is. But the only – what happens when Jawan Jennings got to go out there and he got to catch route, he got to go out there and he can't be third in Jawan no more. Well, he came out and he showed his ass to, yeah, on Sunday. I think Brock Purdy played well. He showed that he can play without weapons. This would have been the perfect game to see our rookie, Ricky Pearsall, who obviously got shot. Can't can't really do shit about that. I mean, if it happens in life, things you really can't control. This would have been the perfect Ricky Pearsall game. Um the Niners need to wake the fuck up and fast because if you lose to the Patriots at home, people are going like shit's gonna start riot. Going, it's going to get bad. Like people are gonna start calling for people's jobs. Like this is a Super Bowl. Like my Debo, I love you. Why are we? Why are we going on the podcast right now? We. This is not podcast time. I love you. I know you're one of the better receivers in the league. I get it. You're hurt. 
need some shit to do. This is not the time to be doing all this shit right now. We need to lock the fuck in because right now we're one and two and we're staring down the barrel of one and three missing the playoffs. Like the stats start to come out like, all right, this teams that have been one and three are this, this, and that. Like this is not, this is a team that last year we're literally a play away from winning the Super Bowl. So it's like Super Bowl hangover. I'm not going to say it's that because we have a bunch of injuries going on. So we need to kind of like figure out what the fuck we need to do. We need to do it fast because this shit right here is not working. And I get Jordan Mason. He's having 100 yards here, 100 yards there. Like these are guys that are having that are, you know, second string guys, not even starters. And they're playing their ass off. I need the guys who are making 50 million, 30 million a year. My quarterback who isn't making anything, he's playing his ass off because he know he needs some money coming up. Brandon you I need you to step up. I need you. Lost games, boy. I need you. We need you. We need you to step up. We know what you are. We know what you can be. We need you to show that. This 45. You can't we can't be having you have 40 yards a game. You making 30 million dollars a year. He need to be the new Den of Thieves. That shit. Like. I need I need these guys to play better. So before we move I, on, I want to. We one, you, one second. You I want to say there. something. You, you mentioned Jawan Jennings. You know how like you know he's come you know third and Jawan or whatever. He's showing signs of being like how T Higgins was just the other year, where it's like, dog, maybe you might be a little bit better than what people give credit to because Kevin. he's been the, he's been the only guy really balling out over there. Um, and he also has done it last year in a couple big games. So it's like seventh round. I, I don't think that he is some top. In you know, a wide receiver, he ain't no top 10 guy, no top, you know, whatever. But I do think that he's showing, like, hey, man, hey, Debo don't want to show up. You know what I'm saying? I, you, you don't want to show up? Man, give me the ball and watch what I do with it. So I'm going to give a little credit where credit's due. I think Jawan Jennings has done it more than once. He's done it a handful of times. I think that that he's he's definitely showing signs of being a T. Higgins type player. So, yeah. Boy, Cass, I, I was ready to move on, and then you came on here – Screaming at foolishness. Jawan Jennings, T. Higgins, huh? 2021, 282 yards. 2022, 416. 2023, 265. 2024, Cass said he had a good year. 276. How many receivers? Moments, good moments, good moments. He's number three. Had a day like him, though. Just receivers in general. I mean, let's like, let's let's be like, real, you guys. Let's be real. Number one option, CMC's not playing. He's not. Number two, Debo not playing. Number three, Kittle not playing. Ricky's not there. What are you gonna do? Put To Son out there? Someone you gotta throw the ball to somebody. And he made the most of his opportunity. But the T Higgins comparison, it's, it's, it's kind of crazy. He had a good game. Just like Tyler said, these are second and third couple, stringers. A couple, a couple good games in the last a couple year. highlights. This was a good game. Besides this, you know, it's the Super Bowl touchdown pass. Nothing else. Rest of the Sunday, you know, a couple years. You know, he'll get a third down, big conversion, and then he's third and draw. You know, when, when you're not on the scouting report on on big plays, you know, sometimes you get open. But I just before we move on, I just want to. Give a dive into Toddy's text messages to me at twelve fifty seven. At one fifty seven, he said, "Juwan Jennings, blank, blank." I said, "Congrats! He's he's got a touchdown against the Rams. You guys are playing UCLA. He's got two touchdowns, Kevin." I said, "You're playing UCLA with Matthew Stafford." I said, "That goes to show how much I don't care." He says, "He's like that. Respect him." I said, "Yeah, he's like that." But he got me, you, Cass, and Sean out there playing receiver. Well, no, wait, 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 wait. No, I'm not. I wasn't that bad. Okay, you could have been 2-2. Two, two. You could have been 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> but I- I'm sitting here like, Toddy, this is – I get it, you know. This is fun. You know, you're winning. UCLA can't stop you. But then, you know, sometimes you start to sweat between your legs, under your arms. Moody went out there. And – before we move on, the kicking this year has been absolutely nuts. 
when Jake Elliott came from 50, 65 in a dome, I almost blew my head up. <laughs> People are a tipped in crazy shit now. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to move on.